because ladies and gentlemen, it is show time at Williams Grove Speedway. Raymer leads the field off turn number two. Ryan Taylor moving on the inside. Takes second place from Monteith. Raymer with the lead. Taylor second, Monteith third, Hodnett fourth, Kreitz is fifth. Raymer stuck behind Wilson. Goes to the outside and tries to put Ryan Wilson a lap down. Gets it done with nine laps down. Taylor, Monteith, Hodnett, and Kreitz still in the top five. Taylor hitting his lines on the low side. Won't give up on the leader. 16 down this time. Three laps left. First four cars running under a blanket. Taylor makes a bid for the lead. Two laps left on this one. Here comes Taylor again. Can't make the pass. Monteith drives by with two laps left. Taylor back by Monteith. Checker flag coming out this time around. Who's it gonna be off turn number four? Fred Raymer will get the win. Taylor second, Monteith is third, Hodnett fourth, and Donnie Kreitz is fifth. Welcome back to Victory Lane. Fred Raymer. Fred, we know about all the numbers. Career win number 88 and your sixth opening day win, but there's one number that means something to you. That's 24. You know it. He's not into statistics, but he knows this one. 24 consecutive winning years. You got it out of the way. Now we just need more. I'll tell you, it's uh, got to thank Rob and everybody involved and Don Ott and the Triple X race cars work good. We were loose most of the race, but we were fortunate enough, you know, to start up front. But uh, we got it done in the heat to earn that spot. But uh, truthfully, for a washed up, no driving son of a bitch, I couldn't be happier. Well, you were back up on the cushion tonight. Looked like you were 20 years younger. Yeah, well, that still makes me 35. So uh, I, as long as the car feels good, and Moon and Freddie and everybody had the car real good in the heat. And uh, obviously, the, the motor ran real well, and the car worked good. But uh, I, believe it or not, I can still drive a race car. Rick Barr, all feature winners last year. Lawrence Chevrolet pays truck to the infield, trying one more time. Elise and Hake, front row, Green is out. The 11 car is Steve Fantasy, all kinds of sideways. Tremendous job to reel it back in. Dellinger through the middle of one and two. Scott Dellinger back in the pack, your 15th starter, making noise already. Out front, back to the stripe. Chris Melisse is your leader. Problems on the back straightaway for Chad Criswell. Leroy Martin on the outside. Carmen Perigo Jr. launches off the bottom of two. Perigo takes over the runner up spot. Paul Miller around the outside of Lanny Hig. Runs fourth, Russell Mitten making his way up through. Problems in turn number two. Fourth to 77 of Russell Mitten. And problems for your leader. Smoke from the 318. Carmen Perigo Jr. started 10th. Rolls out of turn number four, and he'll pick up the win in the season opener for the Super Sportsman. All right, you earned that, man. Well, how about uh, how about that for the season opener? That's a lot better than all last year, man. We didn't have any luck last year. Uh, 
And uh, believe it or not, we had some luck tonight. I mean, we were really a second place car there until uh, Chris Melison broke there. And I got under him, but he kept driving away from me. And uh, it was his race, but the way I, the season I had last year, I'll take it.